Agent Vodello? I have been ordered to report here for levitation training. I've already done the coach's obstacle course, and Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of recklessness from Orso, but Sasha? Agent Nine said you were the most powerful levitator the Psychonauts had. Sasha said that? Really? I didn't know you noticed. Well, you know, I only work with the best teachers. Flirt! Okay, let's party. Agent Vodello? Where are you? On TV, of course. Where I was always meant to be. I mean, look at my hair, darling. How can hair this fabulous not be on TV? Now, darling, the best way to learn levitation is to just try it. I'm going to give you a levitation learner's permit. It will only work while you're in my mind. After you finish my course, I'll give you the real thing, baby. First, you gotta show me you know how to use it. Go. Now for this last one, you're really gonna have to fly. Once you get up in the air, try using your thoughts as a balloon to float. Just jump for those rings as high as you can and then do your side float. Don't be afraid, darling. Okay, now, just between you and me, this end of the party is dead. Come find me on the other side of the party, and I'll give you that merit badge for real. Never keep a girl waiting long, young man. Stay on the ball in here, Rasputin, if you want to get high. And see if you can get all those rings spinning, Mr. DJ. Woohoo! You are the sugar in my bowl, darling. Now just follow the flowers, won't you? And try to stay rolling at all times. That is the theme of this party. But if you ever did, I'll put a ball return down here for you. Just jump in there if you need to come back up here in a hurry. Darling, float over here, will you? These rings aren't spinning and they are ruining my party. Remember to use your side float. I'm not saying it won't ever let you down, but it will let you down nice and slow. Hey, wanna dance? Thanks, but no thanks, Raz. Hey, sure! We're all dancing! Thank you, sweetie. I feel so much better now. Come on, let's take it a little higher now. Look at the crowd! Things are starting... See that draft up above, darling? Jump into it and float and see where it takes you! Now why would you want to come in here? Come on, this room's no fun. Let's leave, baby. Don't want to go in there. That's a party killer right there. Darling, what are you doing down here? The party is not there. Lucky for you, I have my nightmares under control. You can't think it will work at saying, trust me. 
now quick let's get back to the party okay darling if you're looking for the makeout room you've come to the wrong place You are levitating, you are also protected from all sorts of icky things. But some things, like those spikes, those are always bad news. What? Mm, that shouldn't be happening. Darling, do you have some problems with water? Do you want to talk about it? Uh, it's a long story. Maybe later. Okay, I'm always here for you, darling. Let me just say that it's very normal for boys your age. Ready? 
Get set, go, baby, go! You're going to have to do a lot of floating in this room, baby. Good thing you're so light on your feet. some areas, you might get a little more oomph than usual. Now you're going to have to use your side float again to get those rings spinning. And just in time, the party was dying without you, darling. Here, I have a little party favor for you. Darling. Thank you, Agent Vodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. Hey, 
Hey, why don't you just take a little nibble of that and see if I can taste it too? I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. <laughs> Agent Crawler? Sure. How goes the training? I'd better cut it. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Agent Nine's lab, please. With pleasure. been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? Screaming? All right, I remember. <laughs> oh, good boy. There's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course! Right here! And this bad tooth, which is drop it in the old garbage chute. Now don't you solid foods for six hours! Lily!
a nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute! Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official Psychonauts business. Wait! So is this! Official Psychonaut, eh? You forgot your... Hmm... Hey, that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Maury is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Yep. Where would you... Agent Crowler? Time to go to the lake. Yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Bobby! Uh-oh. Look, I can explain. Geez, it sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes! Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? <laughs> Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing! Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to, um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision. And possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to a summer camp before? I'll get a move on before that girl gets overly digested. Admiral, sir, did you hear that? The hideous hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata just kidnapped Lily. Lungfish? So that's what's been tearing up my canoes. Well, I know just what to do. You do? Great! Yeah, I've got some lungfish proof to lack. I'll just slap on a fresh coat, maybe two, and that's that. Admiral, the monster is still out there, and Coach Oleander is trying to take over the world. Ah, well, yes, the world's a crazy place, son, but, but don't worry. The canoes are safe.
glowing. This must be where he brought Lily. No one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. <laughs> <laughs> 